Fireboy, how you doing? I want to say this evening because you're joining us this evening on the show. How you doing? How have you been? How's COVID treating you and everything in between? I've been alright. I feel blessed. Uh, I've been indoors like everyone else. Working, working, working. Uh, I'm a homebody, like almost everyone knows. So I've just been indoors. I'm making music, working on my forthcoming album. It's been beautiful, so I'm fine. How you doing? I'm good. Um, Nairobi is going in between weather where it's hot and cold and I guess we were experiencing wow. the, the same kind of weather. It's rainy, but there are some days it's not. But um, as of COVID, yeah, like we just uh, switched up our lockdown. So that's different. But anyway, I want us to get into a couple of things since you've been, you know, working from home and you say you're working on your forthcoming album. Have you thought of any names so far that you want to name this album that's coming up? Yeah, I already have a name, but I'll keep that to myself. Why though? You can give us a little juice. <laughs> I'll keep that to myself. Okay. <laughs> and somebody, as somebody who's a homebody, are you a person who's always on your Instagram, or what do you prefer doing when you're just at home? Uh, I like to read books. I like to read books a lot. Uh, I play video games. And um, a, a very essential part of spending my alone time is, you know, just being alone, listening to silence the peace, enjoying the serenity of silence and you know, just spending time with myself, thinking. I, of course, I like to, I like, I like to sort the internet too once in a while, you know, Twitter, Instagram, but I'm not really that big on social media because social media can be a very toxic place, you know, but it's very important for my line of business, so. Yes. Yeah, I, I, I go online, you know, engage with fans when I can once in a while. So yeah, that, that helps too. Okay, and speaking of the fact that, you know, we have to be very digital savvy now with the fact that with the COVID and everything, and as you're home working on your forthcoming album, are there artists that you're collaborating with on this forthcoming album, and how are you guys going about the collaborations? Yeah, uh, my debut album, uh, Lots of Tunes and Goosebumps, I didn't feature anyone. I just wanted it to be just me. Yes. You know, just me introducing my sound to the world. And uh, I knew I had to be versatile on the album because it was just me, and I wasn't about to bore anybody with my sound, so... Yeah, I had to work extra hard on that. But it's been, I think it's it's time, it's due for collaborations, because collaborations are very essential, you know, to an artist's growth. And of course, increasing the fan base too. So yeah, I've been working on a couple of uh, more collaborations, uh, and they, are, they should be on the album, you know. So I, I won't say much about that, cause, but I've been working with artists, and uh, my team is working on it. You know, uh, uh, you know, just bringing more artists into the fold and just, trying to make sure that the collaboration is seamless and organic and not just for the sake of collaboration, you know, even. So, my team was working on that to make that happen, but they will definitely be collaborations. Okay. For the of this year. Yeah. And yeah. I, I love the fact that you keep talking about the team. So, as an artist who's been signed on to a label and you see all the hard work that goes into it, what advice would you give an artist out there? Are you okay with people going, you know, independent or getting signed on to a label? Well, uh, it's 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 relative, you know. I mean, <laughs> it's it's I don't know, man. It's subjective to what, what kind of artist you are. Me, before I got signed, I wanted to blow up by myself independently, you know, and I was working towards that. Mm -hmm. But what I did not know was that unconsciously I was fine tuning my sound to attract the right thing mm -hmm. and leave it onto my image myself. But I would say it works both ways. It's very important to as an artist to learn to be independent and market yourself well to make sure that you build your brand and your sound to attract whoever is going to invest in you you know whether you blow it independently or not it's important for you to work on your sound solely independently as an artist so you can attract the right people and also of course labels are very important in life for us to be honest especially in this part of the world mm -hmm. you know uh there's you know music is it, it, has been, it has gone beyond the sound it's now uh, there's promotion involved this image and you know, this this labels and teams, they know the right things to do, they know the right people to connect to so to get an artist sound there. So I'll say it's a plus, to okay. be honest. Uh, okay. to get a label to, to to back you up. But if uh on, on, on the flip side, it is very possible to blow up independently as an artist. And I think uh financial wise of course it pays more mm -hmm. because you get all your all your stuff. So yeah, that works too. 
Um, I love that you've touched on image because of course a team helps you put that together. So as somebody who, I love that as a man, you have your nails painted black. <laughs> Is that, was that a team decision or was that an individual decision, you know? Well, when it comes to my style and my image, uh, that's solely me, you know. Uh, of course, the team also has a say, but my boss is, is, is the kind of person that, you know, just likes to be uh, like a mentor. He just likes to be in the background, just watching and guiding and, you know, being a mentor. You know, he doesn't choke me. I make most of my decisions myself when it comes to my image and my style. Uh, the business management, the business, uh, the music business side of it, that's, that's entirely another thing entirely, but this is just me uh, just going with my twisted mind. I just like weird stuff. Yes. Uh, I feel like doing it and, and I think it looks good. It, so, I think it looks good too. I think it's a drip. Like go with it. Go with it. Now um, <laughs> Over the, over the past like year, ever since you blew up, there's something that you've really talked about in a plenty of your interviews, which is, you know, knowing your sound, discovering your sound. And how did you feel when people started gravitating towards your sound? Like, what was that feeling like? Ah, fulfillment, to be honest. Because it took years, you know, to, to, to get that sound. It's not easy for an artist to find, you know, the sound. It's very, very hard. But once you do, I think it, everything just becomes easy for you because people start to realize that you're different and because you're different, you blow up because that's the only way to actually like really blow up, like first time blow up because a lot of people have done a lot of things, you know, uh, the big daddies and the big moms of the industry and I always like to call them, they've done a lot, you know, so it will take a lot to actually bring something different to the table like, okay, we need a new talent, exciting talent, it's, it's more than just he can sing, what does he bring to the table, you know, so I was actually really glad, and I, and I think with LTG, I it was really obvious that you know the world was gravitating to my song because when I dropped my hit song Jealous, my first hit, and it followed with What If I Say and K, you know, so like, mm, okay, what does he have to have? Okay, it sounds different, it sounds like a vibe. Okay, let's still watch and see. But with lots of things and goosebumps, I stamped it, and you know, uh, it's really beautiful, uh, grateful to the fans, the media houses. Everybody that was involved in the growth of the album and the success of the album and LTG is like proof that the world has accepted my sound. So I think it's time to, you know, evolve as an artist and that's what I'm working on now. My sound and everything. Okay, because with the fact that, um, you know, you love to pay homage to the Dons who came before you, which I really, really love. And um, Afrobeat now has a, like all the spotlight on it, you know, and there's you young cats who've come into the game. Do you personally feel personally feel like the pressure is completely on? Like it's it's on one hundred for you guys to perform extremely well. Well, it would be very uh, naive of me to say that there's no pressure, or to say, oh man, I don't really pay attention to the pressure, blah blah blah. But man, it's there and it's big and it's a lot because there are so many talents out there trying to prove themselves, and there are other people like me who are doing well, just like me. So. I think the, the pressure is always going to be there, but the important thing is uh, channeling that pressure into something productive, you know, and that's what I try to do most times. Uh, the only pressure I like, so I allow to get to me is the one I put on myself, because apart from the fans and everybody there, I put pressure on myself a lot. I'm a big critic of my own work, so I think that, that helps me a lot, you know, when I'm trying to, to work and put out stuff. Okay. So yeah, the pressure is very there, and it's very important. I like it. I like the feel it gives me. It gives me that sense of, you gotta work out of it, so. Um, I like it. So with the fact that the pressure is on and, you know, COVID has hit, what are some of the things that you've changed strategically during this time to be able to, A, still be able to do tours? Because you're still doing media tours globally, right? So what are some of the things that yeah. you've strategically changed during this COVID period? Well, uh, I've been working on evolving my sound, you know, because an important part of being an artist is learning how to evolve because times change. Uh, people change, tastes, the taste of the, the, the of people change too. So you can't be stuck on one sound, you have to evolve, you have to change up, you have to switch up. So I think that's what I've been working on. Uh, my my forthcoming album is more introspective in terms of focus as opposed to how LTG sounded. So I've, 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 I've had more time to, you know, sit down and deeply think and look inward and I've also learned to express myself more, you know, uh, in my music. So yeah, I think that's that's one thing that I would say has strategically changed for me. You know, of course, the team is on, is on their own, doing their own stuff. Mm -hmm. For me personally, as an artist, I think I've really, really uh, started to work on my sound. 
So yeah, that's one thing that I'm you know, make sure that I start working on. Speaking of sounds, which are five other artists that are on your playlist right now that you're listening to and you're like, oh, this is a sound I didn't know about? Ah, man, yeah, it's a lot. Okay, three. Let's make it short. I don't, I don't, I don't really like to mention names. Why, <laughs> though? You, you can mention the Dons oh, man, if but, you want. Um, well, uh, so many talented artists out there. I give to them. Uh, lately, I've, uh, I think I've been... Uh, I've, I've been drawn to Omale, mm -hmm. uh, just like me coming up to. Um, uh, it, it sounds something. It sounds something. And uh, a lot of my colleagues, uh, Superboy Check, uh, Oxlade, you know, Rema, Joe Boy, man, everyone is doing great, man. To be honest, <laughs> I think I already mentioned five. Oh, that's that's amazing. Yeah. So I mean, we all bring something different to the table, and it's, it's good to see that you're not alone in this mission because i see it as a mission you know to mm -hmm. take approvals to the world you can't give it alone you need your soldiers alongside you you know just doing it so i see them as my brothers and my sisters you know so just alongside me just working out to get approvals the way it's supposed to be who who in east africa have you been eyeing and saying i really love like their sound i wouldn't even mind them on a track or two who from east africa have you been ah. see i give you a whole yeah. region not even just one country I gave you five countries, so. Man, it's, I ah, I really don't want to mention. <laughs> this is this is this is very tricky because uh, eventually you leave out some names, mm -hmm. and then you you know you, you know. So I, I really don't want to create that. All I'm going to say is that I've been, especially now more than ever, I've actually been paying more attention to you know other African artists mm -hmm. that are doing really good out there, and I would say, man. Talent is crazy, man. The talent is crazy and amazing, and every one of them is amazing. Especially the new ones like me coming up, you know, those are the ones I'm really, you know, conversant with because um, I get to see them every, uh, hear about them every day. So yeah, I don't want to mention names. I'm not going to mention names. I will just say every one of them is doing great, and man, they're, they're all amazing. Okay, fair enough. And uh, a couple, just a couple more things before we wrap it up. Um, do you usually check your DMs? You can be honest. This is a safe space. Do you check your DMs? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do. Of course, I do. I try to engage the fans uh, once in a while when I can uh -huh. uh, to repost uh, stories. People who listen to my sound, my music, uh, vibing to them. You know, reply a couple of prayers. Uh, encourage the, the ones like me coming up to that need some encouragement. Yeah, I do that. I check my DMs a lot. Uh, Okay. Well, not a lot, but yeah, I do. I, I enough. Myself, enough. <laughs> <laughs> what are some excuses yeah, yeah. you have used to get out of something you don't want to do? Ah, oh, man. Work is number one. Okay. Uh, most times it's really true. Uh, let's say I'm at I'm work right now. I got to get to work. Uh, management is number one. <laughs> so, you know, uh, I, <laughs> I refer a lot to management. But that's, that's valid. That's but it's the truth. truth. That's, only the job, yeah, you know, so it's just very easy to just like, you know, uh, eat up management, eat up a manager, uh, you, sh you, sh you seem close to a lot of day, I think you should do more personally, I think it, it's going to be fast, you know, stuff like that, so yeah, that works for me, so I don't really like to lie, I don't like to lie, because lying can be uncomfortable sometimes, but you got to do what you got to do. <laughs> Okay, and lastly, we tend to always ask every single artist who drops by onto the show, what is it that they're manifesting, right? We had Walshy Fire on the show and he said that he's manifesting to get a Grammy. So what's one thing that you're manifesting that you really want to come through for you? Um, I'm manifesting uh, being considered uh, a young legend, a legend like, in, the, in the industry. I know it's, it might seem like a lofty dream for someone who just, you know, just came on board, but I see myself as one of the artists that is going to be recognized solely for taking Afrobeats to that pedestal where it's supposed to be. You know, like right now, the whole world is paying attention to Afrobeats, but they're not really seeing Afrobeats as a, an independent journey of its own. They still categorize the other world. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I want to be known as one of the artists that are actually responsible for you know, taking it there to see that Afrobeats is actually a strong journey, a strong journey with its own structure. Yeah, you know, so I want to be known as one of those uh, the artists that made that happen, and I'm going to do it. I feel you are in the right path. I'm looking forward to more vibes from you. I'm looking forward to more tunes and keep evolving. I think uh, this one thing that I've really loved uh, that I've gotten out of this, that you're very keen on your self-awareness of growth. So I wish you all the best. Thank you so much for taking time Thank and so uh, chatting with us. Thank you so us. much for having me. Uh, fun. 
really good, you know. Yo, 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 y